All right. So um, we went through the chords in the key of G. Just a quick reminder, that was G, A minor, B minor, C, D, E minor. You could go to an F sharp diminished, not as widely used. Um, we built a progression out of that. We used the first chord in that sequence. Bear in mind that each one of those chords has a, um, has a number assigned to it. So our first chord is G. Therefore, we say that's our one chord. Okay. The second chord is A minor. We say that's our two chord. The third chord in this sequence is B minor. So we say that that is our two chord. Our uh, third chord, um, that's one, two, rather three, my bad. The B minor is your three chord. C is your four chord. D is your five chord. E minor is your six chord. And if you were to use the F sharp diminished, that's your seven chord. Wow. All right, so now if we take these chords and we assign them to a progression. I don't want to just play. I went to the progression of G, C, A minor, D. So that's my one chord, to my four chord, to my two chord, to my five chord. So... about to go there okay so now what I had to do I wanted to change it to a new key and this is where this knowledge is is helpful to you I went to the key of C and I found that my notes were C D E F G A B okay so my one is C my two is D my three is E my four is F five is G six is A uh -huh. My progression I played a moment ago used my first, my fourth, my second, my fifth. That's a one, four, two, five. So if I go to C, I'm just going to recognize what those notes are in that location. My one is C. My four is F. My two is D. And my five is G. Now the same thing that held true in the key of G is going to hold true now meaning that I've got major, minor, minor, major, major, minor. That's the quality of my chords there. C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor. Okay? So I know that my C is going to be a C major. I know my F is going to be a F major. My D is going to be a D minor. My G is going to be a G major. So I took that same progression, instead of using a capo and sliding up here and trying to play a G chord shape off of a C root note, I went over here to a regular open C. So that was my one, my four is F, my two is D minor, and then my five is going to be a G. So now that gives me the same basic progression but in a different key without using the capo.